Right, what's up guys, it's JD Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you a COD Zombies discussion video about Black Ops 3. You guys have been liking these recently, so I thought I'd bring you another one, and today I'm going to be talking to you about some perk ideas I've been having. Now, we do know some of the perks in Widow's Wine, but I thought I'd just let my imagination run wild a little bit, and think about how some popular perks could change, and how to make some of the slightly worse ones better. Obviously Double Tap is a prime example of this, went from Double Tap to Double Tap 2.0 in Black Ops 2 and people liked it, people didn't really like it in World of War and Black Ops 1 but now they really do, so I thought I'd try and do it for some other perks. Now, where should I start off? I think I'm going to start off at Deadshot Daiquiri. Now, Deadshot, you're useful, but you aren't that useful. Basically for those of you that don't know, Deadshot decreases your uh, crosshair from hit fire and when you aim in, you aim into the head. Sounds good, but it's not like the most useful thing ever. Now, what I thought it could do, just to make it a little bit better, is to decrease your zoom in time. For example, when you aim in with an LMG, it takes quite a long time. So, if you did that, and say you will halve the zoom in time, and make using a sniper a lot easier, because you could quick scope a lot easier, and I think instead of halving the, uh, like, I think that, not, I don't know what the exact measurements are for how much smaller the reticle gets, but for example, if it halved, it could like, double how small it gets, sort of thing, just to make it really, really useful, and like an option, maybe increase the price to 2000 instead of the 1500 it currently is. But that is my thoughts on Deadshot Daiquiri. Now, another perk that isn't used that often is Stamina. Stamina up on certain maps is really, really useful. Take Origins, for example, with all the mud and you can get 5 perks, it is great. However, on maps like... 5... Not that it's actually on 5. <laughs> God, that's a really stupid example to use, wasn't it? But let's take the map... Oh, what should I use? What should I use? What map should I use? Let's use Buried. Yes, let's use Buried. We know it's on there, and it isn't really needed that much. And it's just, it doesn't increase your sprint speed by that much, and it doesn't increase how long you could run by that much. Unless you're on a really big map, it really isn't that necessary. But, if you play custom zombies and played on a map where they have modified how your stamina up is, you know how good a perk this could be. If you, say, doubled how good it was in terms of sprint speed, say if your sprint starting speed speed was 1, with double tap, not that fuzzy hell. With stamina up one, it would maybe go to 2.5. If they made it to go to four, for example, uh, that could make it go a lot better. Sort of like in double the amount of increase you get. That would be really useful. Really great way of making the perk a more usable option, and would give you some more options in terms of the perks you use. Because in a lot of maps, you just kind of use the same perks all the time, and I just sort of feel that. Adapting perks in this way could be a really useful way of making the game better. Anyway guys, that's all I've got for you today guys. I think I will continue this series if you guys like it. Names and perks you think could be changed and made better. I'll think about them and see what I could do with them. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.